Hello, my name is Aaron Morris. I'm working with World Tai Chi Association. Today we're going to introduce the Tiger Qigong set from Wado's Five Animal Frolic. Okay, the first one is going to be Waking Tiger. On Waking Tiger, we're going to be about shoulder width apart. You're going to bring your arms up, breathing in. And as you reach back, you're going to touch your shoulders and try and compress your arms as close as possible. Then as you breathe out, you're going to let the arms drift out and exhale. Breathing in, get nice and tight, compress, and then release. Breathe in, and out. You can also put a little isometric tension, so as you come down, resist against that wall. Breathing in, again, you want to Exhale strongly as you pull down, so that way you don't put any extra pressure in the body. Breathing in, breathing out. Version two, or B, you're gonna come up, you're gonna let the elbows drop, and again, just push out and sink. Breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, and out, again, pushing those elevator doors open. And again, you can put isometric tension. Balance in size, nice and strong. Breathing in. Breathing out. One more. And out. Coming up, and progress. Again, it's always a good idea to do a little swing tree, a little shake of the arms, so that way you can disperse a lot of the tension you've built up. So that was number one, Waking Tiger, A and B. Moving Tiger, Moving Tiger has three variations, A, B, and C. We're gonna basically walking forward. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna step forward, hands will be at your chest, and you're pushing the arms out. You're gonna let the wrist drop, and then you're gonna let the arms stay long, drop to the side, breathing in, stepping with the opposite foot, Push, drop, breathing in, push, dropping down, and push. All right, so that's the A version, going straight out, and then letting the arms again drop to the side. Pull up, out. So this is the A version. Again, you can actually do it to where you're coming back. As you get more comfortable, you can actually start walking across the floor with that. The B version. B version, instead of having the arms long and then coming up, we're actually going to drop the arms and they're going to pull at the elbows. Push, wrist flex, pull. So same idea, I'll walk across this way instead so that way you can kind of see the side. Again, nice forward bow, forward weight. Drop those wrists, pull across that back. Push. Drop, pull, push, drop, pull, push, drop, pull, okay? So again, another option as far as if you want to walk forward, back, you can also do these side to side. If you're going to do them side to side, you just basically you can step out, and then as you come up, come back together, push out. So again, you have the lateral motion, you have linear motion. The C version is going to have a squat in it. So we're going to do the A's arm movement where the arms are long, coming up and push. The only difference is now, as you push and the arms drop, you're actually going to squat. And again, you can go as low as you want. If you feel comfortable, you have that back straight, squatting at the hips, coming up. If you feel a little more tension, you just go a little bit lower and coming back up. So again, you're just basically doing mini squats as you go. So we'll go ahead and, and do that a little bit towards the side again, just so that way you can kind of see it from a side angle. Breathing out, hands drop, waist drops, breathing in, alternating feet, drop. And again, you take a little smaller of a step if you're not really working on the stretch so much. And then again, just going a little bit lower, feeling a little too much pressure in those hips or knees. Coming up. And then when you're done, small compression, and then harm max. That's number two, moving tiger, ABC. Crouching tiger. On crouching tiger, 
Now again, it's a linear movement or a lateral movement. We're going to go ahead and start with the lateral movement, side to side. The arm's going to be out. We're going to step out. Then we're going to step forward. And we're going to have whatever arm you have forward, you're going to have that arm up and you can press. Again, as low as you feel comfortable. And then you breathe and as the arms separate, basically like the tie posture, stepping forward with the opposite foot. Again, vertical for the, for the foot that's forward. And then compress. Now, if you notice, as I step, I'm actually having my heel up, my weight's off my front foot, so I can do a little bit of a tap. I can actually keep my line basically from the fist all the way down into the front leg. Then we come up, out, again, heel up, compress, get a nice long straight line, no weight. Then you come up, breathing in. And again, you can actually turn, compress, come up, turn, compress, or the basic version where you're just basically taking a small adjustment step, stepping forward, breathing out, breathing in, breathing out. And again, the more isometric tension you put in, the harder you're going to want to breathe out. And Again, this is going to be a very hot exercise or a series of movements. So make sure you're keeping plenty of fluids around to keep hydrated and shaking off the energy when you need to. That was number three, crouching tiger. Number four, tiger stretches paws. We're going to do a quick review on the deer stepping just so that way we can go ahead and make sure there are no questions on the stepping pattern. On this, we basically step forward, whatever puts forward, you turn to that side and you try and make a line as much as possible, basically going from 12 o'clock to 6 o'clock. Heels up, weight's nice and even. Then we step forward, twist. Again, 12 and 6. And from the side, basically step, whole body turns, going forward, whole body turns. Okay? The other part of this is the stretches pause. Stretches pause, you're just going to push out just like on weight and tiger, coming in, pushing out. All right, so what we're going to do is I'll be walking forward, hands are up, nice and high. We step forward, twist, push. Breathing in, breathing out. Again, try to make that as 12 and 6 as possible with the arms, shoulders, and hips. Breathing in, breathing out. And again, I'm staying pretty high on the stance. And just for a basic introduction, but you can go as low as you feel comfortable. Breathing in, as low as you feel comfortable. And if you notice, the knee is getting pretty close to that front ankle. You have a nice straight back coming up. And then as you step, that same twisted stance and compress. Good. And you come up, harmonize. All right. And uh, that's tiger stretches pause. Tiger stretches pause, again, just pushing straight out in the deer step. Tiger scratches back, same idea, but instead of going to the sides on a horizontal plane, we'll now be pushing on a vertical plane, straight up and down. Similar to the organ, stomach. The only difference is we're now gonna be walking and putting, again, isometric tension. So I'll walk forward for a few steps and then to the side. So the arms are up, step, twist, you can look down the ground, breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, breathing out. Good. And again, same thing if you're walking from the side, you just basically as you walk, that twist, and you can actually compress as low as you feel comfortable. Step forward, compress, low as you can They're having balance issues on either one of these stepping patterns. Instead of looking back or to the ground, you'd actually just look forward and separate. And again, you can actually come back with your step. And again, looking back is going to be a little more challenging, looking to the ground a little more so. If you're having those issues, just look forward, always towards the direction you're moving towards. And again, Harmonize. All right, so that was uh, Tiger scratches back. Again, that idea of scratch that back. Now, Tiger claims spur. This is going to be a nice, cool, or the 
dispersal exercise to help you get rid of a lot of the energy. You're going to have the hands nice and high on those shoulder blades. And as you go down, you're going to go outside, breathing in. You're going to really pull those arms up. You don't want to bring the shoulders up. Keep those shoulders relaxed. Relax and have those fingers pull forward. And down. Breathing in. And out again. You can start pretty high in your gait. Making sure that you're warming the body up. As you get more comfortable, you can go a little bit lower. A little bit lower. And again, as you get more comfortable, you notice we're trying to keep that contact on that body the whole time. So you're basically giving yourself a small massage. Go as low as you feel comfortable. And again, coming forward. Back up. When you're done, harmonize, breathing in, and relax. All right, that's Tiger Clean's fur. Number seven is Tiger Balances on Rock. This one, the idea is that same crouching tiger where that heel is up, but there's no weight on that front foot. The only difference is when we jump to the side, we're gonna try and jump where those heels stay off the ground, and as we land, keep those heels up. If we have those heels drop, that's okay. Just mentally think, okay, pull those heels up. That's gonna actually help those calf muscles as well. So, to start from the front, you're gonna let the elbows go to a horizontal position, sweeps out, and as it gets to the outside position, your wrist will flex down, your heels will come up, and we'll squat. Coming up, we're just gonna go ahead and do these a few times to the front, where we're just working on the arms and the legs, kind of coordinating. One more, and we'll do a few to the sides, where we're jumping laterally. Good. Now from here, we're gonna jump to the side, elbows, jump. And again, those heels are off the ground, we're going to let those wrists flex down, squat. Coming up, out, jump. Again, those heels are off the ground, and then flex down. Up, jump, down, and jump, down. Now, this time I'm going to go ahead and do it to the side where you can kind of see the heels. Jump. you'll actually kind of fall forward or you'll fall back. So that'll keep your mindful of shoulders level, nice straight line, okay? And that was number seven, tiger balances on rock. Number eight, stalking tiger. Stalking tiger is real basic. It's basically a half fist or a hard version of your brush knee strike. Instead of having the palm up, you're gonna create your tiger's paw, leopard paw, lots of different names. Straight half fist, you go into the neck. Opposite hands to your chest. You're going to slide across the ground. Out. 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 Again, same exhale. So as you're doing this, you want to think breathing out as you hit. Slide, slide, slide. Okay, we'll go ahead and go to the side. As you get more comfortable with this, you'll increase the speed so that way you can move a lot quicker and you still have those feet rooted in the ground instead of having that natural tendency to pick up the foot and plod, now you're just kind of sliding, sliding, sliding. One of the major challenges is as you go forward, that toe's down and it's got too much contact, you'll feel that jerk. So do it nice and slow at first. So again, opposite hand, opposite foot, slide, 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 slide. Alright? So that's stalking tiger. Again, basic half fist with forward bows. Last one, tiger climb. On this, three variations on the arms. First variation, basically vertical, like you're swimming. Version two, horizontal. Come across, touch that opposite shoulder. Touch the opposite shoulder. So it's a one arm swaying tree. Instead of normally doing two, now we do one. All right. Number three is basically our half of the energy pendulum. So instead of doing two arms, again, we're doing one, one, one. 
All right? So those are the three variations as far as the arm movements. Stepping patterns are all going to be the same. As I step forward with my right foot, right arm drops. So I'm basically trying to connect my body weight into the strike. Step over the top, strike. As I step forward, strike. You can step back, but you still want that same foot, same arm. Okay, we'll go ahead and walk forward a few times with that same one. So as we come over, big arm, straight drop. Good. B, horizontal. So again, as we come out, big touch. Big touch. Big touch. Good. So we're basically doing big hooks. So really help anybody who's wanting to increase their strength and their hooking strength or inside arcing strength, a big full body touch. Full body. Good. Last one, 45 down. So as we do this, same thing. Back foot, steps forward, 45. 45. 45. Again, you can't step back on any of these exercises. You want to basically create a horse stance as much as possible. Well, I hope you enjoyed this version or this installment of our Tiger Qigong from the Waddle Spy Battle Blog. Again, I'm Aaron Morris. If you have any questions, please contact us at worldtaichi.com. Thank you very much.